Are you a golfer dealing with a myriad of golf injuries? In this video, I'm gonna talk about how a lot of golf injuries start. Hi, I'm Dr. Kevin Christie, Boca Raton chiropractor. I'm certified in Titleist Performance Institute, and we really learned a lot about golf injuries. And, and one of the things people don't understand about the golf swing is something called the kinematic sweep sequence. And what that does and what that is for your golf swing and how that can lead to injury. I was fortunate enough through TPI and learning through the biomechanics and then also down at FIU, I was part of a research group using technology to measure someone's kinematic sequence and how that can improve your golf swing and avoid injury. So before we dive into how it causes injury, let me talk about what it is and show you what it is. But essentially in a really good golf swing, if you evaluated all of the top professionals in golf, they're gonna have a very similar blueprint or kinematic sequence to their swing. Even though it may look different, the technique might be different, they're gonna have a four part sequence that's gonna fire on all cylinders. And unfortunately, as we're a mid to high handicap, handicap golfer, that's not gonna be the case often. And what that kinematic sequence is, is that you really need to start that golf swing with the pelvis. So you're gonna get a pelvis rotation first. Second is gonna be the torso on top of that pelvis. Third will be the shoulders. And then fourth is gonna be basically the wrist and hands. And in that sequence, when that, the hips fire first, and then the torso, then the shoulders, and then lastly, the, the wrist and hand, that's gonna produce a great golf swing, very efficient, a ton of power, which is why you'll see some of these professionals that make it look easy and they hit it 325 yards. It creates such a, an efficient power in the swing, but it also decreases the stress on the body. And what happens a lot with mid to high handicap golfers is they're at a sequence where they get to the top of the backswing and often they're gonna start, you've seen it over the top, they're gonna start with the shoulders and wrists and then the torso and pelvis. That's, a, that's gonna be a really um, bad golf swing. You'll get some good golfers that the torso might start first, but the pelvis follows that second, which again is out of order. And so we, we really wanna understand how that can impact uh, the, the body, right? And so if you're not getting that efficiency, you're gonna put a lot of undue stress on the low back, a lot of stress on the shoulders, the wrists, and, and even the neck. And so it's something that we see often. Now, we don't measure your kinematic sequence here, but we do know, like we ask questions like, okay, what's your handicap? How are you playing? Do you have a golf professional teaching you, right? That's why, you know, so many golf related injuries can kind of stem back to technique and are you improving your technique with a teaching professional? And so we can put that in the back of our mind and say, okay, this is where we're at. And we need to look at certain things from functional testing. So in our office, we'll be able to see, like, can you rotate the pelvis well enough? Because physically you may not be able to do it. So it's gonna be, I, I could teach you until you're blue in the face on how to do the kinematic sequence. But if, if your pelvis can't rotate appropriately, if you can't separate that pelvis from the torso, if you've got a previous back injury or shoulder, we will put all those into consideration when we're evaluating you and then obviously when we're building a treatment plan for you. So that's the kinematic sequence. Again, pelvis, torso, shoulders, hand, wrist. That's the sequence you want. So many golfers are out of sync on that and it does cause injury. And that's why we see a lot of golf injuries in our practice.